This is Impondry Bridge, which was vandalized, weakening the structure, which is the main route to Congo via Kasese. Because of that, it has affected the business because it is becoming very hard now for the people to cross to that end. Heavy trucks, they are no longer crossing because of the area whereby the bend has, has emerged in the road. So it is becoming very hard for the people to cross. Some parts of the metallic culverts were allegedly uprooted and taken away by persons dealing in scrap business. The State Minister for ICT, Godfrey Baluku Kabianga, visited the destroyed bridge. What has happened here is very, very unfortunate. And uh, it shows how irresponsible citizens are. But you can see government puts up a bridge and some one very stupid person comes and dismantles the bridge quietly and I think it has taken time. And now the bridge is totally damaged. A bridge that took billions of shillings to construct. A bridge that is connecting Uganda to Congo. According to the minister, one person has been arrested in connection with the vandalism. The, the citizens were very, very vigilant, the LOCs. This guy has been arrested and handed over to police. Uh, because this one, this road now is very, very dangerous, this bridge. Within no time, uh, the, the, the bridge will just fall in. And you can just see, uh, I think even what uh, that stupid person took out, must have sold to scrap dealers. Uh, he might have even got only 50,000 shillings per, per piece. The Uganda National Roads Authority has diverted traffic away from Mpondwe Bridge to prevent it from caving in. However, the locals are nervous about the diversion, which the UNRWA is providing as an alternative. The diversion that has been uh, identified by UNRWA is uh, this bridge was constructed in a uh, in, uh, in 1972. So when this bridge was constructed, uh, vehicles were shifted from the other old bridge to this new bridge. Now, of course, uh, UNRWA has seen it uh, better to use that old bridge so that the lorries should also be passing on that other bridge as they put in other measures to renovate this other bridge that has been damaged. The country loses billions of shillings every year to road vandals.